There's something very special to be found in Flight Simulator 2020. Whether you're flying around the realistic recreations of New York, San Francisco or even Florence, Italy, the sim offers an opportunity to experience places of the world that we may rarely or perhaps never get the chance to see in person. And then there's places like Area 51. Like many places, the Nevada Desert is a truly stunning location to fly around. It's drastically different to anything I've shown in my previous videos, but the truth is the world is massively diverse. There's so many different places to explore. Most of these places are so accurate to real world locations that it's easily possible to imagine that I'm flying over the real thing. For other places though, it's a little different. They aren't entirely accurate, but nonetheless, they still represent amazing recreations of the real world places in which it is possible to lose yourself in. But from time to time, there are the occasional locations that are eerily different to their real world counterparts. Places where everything is the same, only not quite. Case in point, Area 51. Here, a public airport visited by private planes, a mysterious location in the Nevada desert where civilians can go to hang out. And you know what? That's actually okay. In fact, it's more than okay it's still a prime destination to visit and perhaps even more so because of that. It really does highlight why Flight Simulator 2020 has endless possibilities. There's just so many locations to visit. After all, there's an entire planet to explore. Now then, we're finally here at Groom Lake. Very easy to fly over. Fortunately, unfortunately, I guess depending on how you look at that, we haven't been intercepted or shot down. Uh, there's no military planes for miles around. In fact, there doesn't seem to be any in existence. Now, the uh, ATC has asked me to land on runway 31L, so I had to uh, follow the traffic pattern around and come in from the opposite direction, but we're going to go in and land here now. So there are two runways here. The left one which I'm coming in at is much longer than the one on the right. In fact, this left runway goes all the way into Groom Lake, and... Um, apparently, this is used for testing certain types of aircraft in the real world, but, you know, who knows? So, a big deal has been made about all the airports in Flight Simulator 2020, of which there are 37,000 airports that you can actually visit and land at. Yes, you can land at any airport that's in the sim. But not all of them are handcrafted, there's only a few that are handcrafted, I believe around about 40 in the Premium Deluxe Edition, and a few less in the Standard Edition. Areas like Area 51, these are not handcrafted, but nonetheless they are here and they are pretty well detailed. And this includes parked up planes, uh, staff and crew are walking around in various areas, as well as a whole load of buildings and ground vehicles. Now, the nice thing about Flight Simulator 2020 is that you can spawn your plane at any location. You can just click a random location on the world map and you will appear in the sky, or you can choose any location on the ground airport-wise and spawn there. But I've been flying around a bit, so I took this opportunity to, well, stroll into Area 51 and refuel my plane. Most welcome to do that here. Now, services like this can be found all around the world. You just simply approach the uh, refueling area, the refueling station, and a menu like this one will appear. You're then free to add or remove as much fuel as you like. Now, keep in mind that fuel does, of course, have weight. So the more fuel you add, the heavier your aircraft will actually become. And aircrafts do have a maximum takeoff weight. So this is one of those things that is accurately simulated, as is fuel consumption. Now, let's take a look at the thing I know you really want to see. And that, of course, is Area 51 base itself. The layout is pretty much exactly as you'd expect, at least according to the satellite imagery that we can see available both on Google as well as on Bing Maps itself. Down on the ground, I'd imagine things are a little bit different. There's no fences here, there's no military staff and no military vehicles either. But nonetheless, there are vehicles parked up in the car park here. And there are numerous buildings all scattered around. Some of them are fairly large, so I'd imagine there's a significant number of people that would be here. Now, the fact that the runway itself is so long, it means that you can land any aircraft here, and that includes the airliners. So if you want to take off with a 747 from uh, Groom Lake, then you're entirely free to do so. And on a parting shot here, I just want to take another look at just how wonderful the entire environments look. Truly spectacular stuff. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.